Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions. Please be my guest. Although I may... Really? Are you... I'm a poet, sir. Rich... May I ask you a few questions about the district? Extraordinary part of town, is it not? I'll be glad to help you, if I can. What can you tell me about an old... Darius Petrescu? Yes, I know him. At first, I thought he was only a small publisher. I invited him to publish my work, but his reaction was pretty clear. Not interested in... Darius is an old political activist who takes delight in printing tracts and lampoons. Those communist activities only require mediocre writing skills. I'll leave you alone, sir. Good evening, miss. I know what you're thinking. A tall stranger who meets a girl in the street at night. It reeks of the penny dreadfuls. I know you understand what I'm saying. Your silence has nothing to do with you being mute, does it? Very well. The content of Darius' letter to his children could give me more leverage to enter. Darius is a bit less of a mystery now. It should not be that difficult to incite him to let me in. Don't be shy, handsome. What can Christina do for you? I'm not looking for what you're selling. But I'd like to ask you a few questions, if I may. I'm a doctor. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane? I don't know her, but I know her name. You seem to respect her. Dorothea helps the sick people of White... Goodbye, miss. Take... It's not my call, Barrett. You pay by the way. Mr. Petrescu, just you again. Sir, wait. Stop this nonsense. I'm <laughs> all right. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. I'm nothing like you, Mr. Doctor. Ye I have to admit your words have convinced. If you want to talk to Dorothea, you must go across the courtyard and take the stairs. We've not been formally introduced. May I ask your name and occupation, sir? I am Darius Petrescu. 
I'm here to keep snitches and spy. Tell me everything you know. I do not believe in the afterlife, Doctor, but I'm almost convinced Camellia is an angel. She volunteered to give out our medical leaflets. Are you not worried for her? She is as brave as she is tough, and clever too. If only I had met her when I was younger. Are you in love with Camellia? Don't be stupid. If I had met her when I was younger, we could have won our revolution. Goodbye, Mr. Patrick. Doctor. What do we have here, nurse? Patient Raz Van Vassily. High fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, and head pain. Diagnosed with influenza. Treatment? Aspirin and salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration. But he's having trouble keeping even water down. Thank you, nurse. Anything else I should know? He did lose consciousness this morning, but he's never had convulsions like these. He's not convulsing, he's choking. He's not getting any air. Scalpel, hand me that scalpel. What can I do, Doctor? I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe, that rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, Doctor. He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. A thoracostomy. Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Right then, Nurse Crane. What do you suggest we do? I've no idea. I'm not the doctor. Time is of the essence. We need to perform a thoracic drain. Yes, Doctor. He's still bleeding, Doctor. I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. Are you all right, Doctor? I... I can't see. I must... first suture the artery. Find the wound, the source of the blood. Needle and thread, Doctor. Good. The stitches are holding. How's he doing? We're losing him. We've lost his pulse. He's dying, Doctor. A dose of epinephrine, now. Yes, Doctor. We've lost the pulse. He, 
He's gone, Doctor. Yes. We did everything we could. Truly? Everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went, piling up one poor corpse beside the next? This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions. Something... primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. I doubt... I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? Your heart might be in the right place, but you can't... Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. But why let... She's pristine and proper, all right. But that she-wolf in sheep's clothing murders the poor for sport. I have her where she belongs, and I'll milk her for all she's got. Dr. Swansea is a sensible and honest man. He wouldn't have refused your friend's care at Pembroke. It's easy for you to say, Doctor. These people cannot go to the police, nor to the hospital. They don't even speak English. So, the end justifies them. I know your kind, Doctor. Just another fine-heeled, silver-spooned gentleman who was given the world on a platter. You know nothing of poverty, nothing of the shame. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime, and it will stop Nurse Crane. So... Are you going to turn me over to the authorities? <sighs> no. Your place is here. Jailing you would be an even greater crime. So? Here is my proposition. I'll look the other way on your little enterprise. In exchange, you will resign from the Pembroke Hospital and provide me with medical supplies when the need arises. Dr. Reed! That sounds like a business proposition. My accomplice, then? No. Just a privileged client. My research may require the occasional rare piece of equipment or ingredient. I'll pay good coin in exchange, fair and honest to help finance your noble endeavors. We have ourselves a deal, Doctor. Good customers are always welcome. Yes, Nurse Crane. We have a deal.
It's locked, all right. Good evening. Sure. Even my dreams are soaked with glue. So, I'm not bothered. Do you need any medical help? Yes, I do. You'll feel better with this. But you need to get a grip. Yeah. I'm not sure I'm happy with the idea. Good evening. Change. Do you need any assistance, Miss? It depends on the... I'm shocked. Then you would think I am that. Forgive my suspicion. Good evening. And good evening. Do you need medical attention? It may be wise to let you prescribe. I understand your appetite for words and macabre beauty, sir. But the nutrition of my... Good evening, Doctor. Can I... Do you need a... That would be nice of you, Doctor. Who knows what I may have caught you in my investigation. If you persist in investigating the most pox-ridden boroughs of London, you must accept... Thank you, sir. Yes? Do you need some help? I am very tired, but that is all. Well, I think you do. Take this, and you'll feel better. Free drugs from any... For me. How are you, boy? I'm not your boy. Do you need assistance? Please. There you go. Let's hope nobody... Very funny.
This could be the box. Lewis thought he lost. <sighs> There's a letter inside. A love letter from Joe Peterson's wife addressed to Barrett Lewis. Who should I give it to, I wonder? Look the other way this week, Joe. Come on. Fancy bar. You never... I found this box in an abandoned... Let's have a look. Yeah, this is mine. So, you face those loons that roam around there. I suppose I... Luck is a commodity round here. Yours should be properly... About this package. It... I want to be rude or anything after your kind je... Barrett. You had an affair. Yeah, I did. She's the only woman I loved. My first regret is that she stayed with Joe after Harry was born. The second... Did you ever try talking? Never. But I suspected he knew everything, even without knowing it. And he decided to make me pay in his own... Do you mean... No one will ever know for sure. Goodbye for now. Fancy but you never right then. Human blood. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately.
Good evening. Good evening to I wise cho I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. What prevails in the end, I wonder? The desire for blood, or to be of service to man? Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You... So in the end, the accusation was true, wasn't it? The situation is somewhat awkward, nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say, I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. I must confess I have not put an end to the blackmail, my lady. Unfortunately, I could not bring myself to do it. I'm so disappointed in you, Jonathan. I didn't expect this from you. Lady Ashbury, you yourself admitted how ridiculous the sum of money was. I can assure you it was all used for charitable ends. Well, you were full of surprises, aren't you, Jonathan? All right? Say I trust you. But you will still pay the ransom. That is only fair. After all, it was you who failed to bring this problem to a satisfaction. I believe I could have... And since a lady always keeps her problem. I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Hush! Tell no one this. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak... How could this cause offence? Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their progeny. No vampire or hunter will sleep easy knowing that an unidentified elder is stalking the streets of London. Is that what I am? What we are? Such a crude word, defined by penny dreadfuls and drunken hacks. No, you are now an Ekon. So we are Ekons. How can I identify us amongst other vampires? How to put it? All Ekon are vampires. But all vampires are not Ekon. We are a... but a branch of the immortal tree. Are you? Yes, I am. We are the... I don't understand. That is a question only the one who made you can answer. It's not normal practice. I doubt even if you find him, he will answer you, considering how cruelly he treats 
So me being a... I very much doubt it, Jonathan. Contrary to the legends, it is not as simple to make another vampire by just biting someone. I'd like to avoid creating another vampire by mistake anyway. Tell me, how is it done? The process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential progeny. If you did decide to sire an offspring, they must drink of your blood, Jonathan. Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Dr. Swansea is a good and compassionate man. And no one's... As you well know, suspicion has recently fallen on me of killing for pleasure. But you have my word, John. Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds by some gut. What type of vampire? Not a true vampire. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. It is a shame these creatures run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. I bid you farewell. For now, my lady. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. Hello again, Dr. Reed. Goodbye, Mr. Fear and disgust on every street corner. The daily routine. Razvan Vasily was infected by Spanish flu, but also has the highly unstable blood of the Skulls. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? I should talk to Dr. Swansea about it. I get your... Please, speak. But I have some... This strain of flu. It's very different from... The... Really? What makes you... I've just looked at the blood of one of our recently deceased. I see. Do you have anything more to go on? This disease spreads and looks like the Spanish flu, but its effects differ greatly. The London strain is different from the continental one. This is very interesting. Yes. Unlike the flu, the infected begin to show an increase in outwardly aggressive behavior. More than simple agitation. Once docile people become violent. You mean like rabies? Is there a chance we could create a vaccine, Jonathan, like Pasteur? By the stole, that would be smashing. There's a lot we're not seeing here. But it is spreading, and quickly. If we don't act, the whole city could be lost. 
But Jonathan, we've a fantastic opportunity sitting right here in front of us. A weapon of choice. What on earth do you mean? Why you, my dear boy? With your expertise and your blood, we could isolate the properties that course through your veins. Think about the possibilities. But the risk of infection using vampire blood could compound the situation. I know, but your blood now carries remarkable regenerative properties. With our minds and your blood, there's nothing we couldn't cure. We'll discuss this more later. Thank you for your... No, thank you, Jonathan. But as I... Yes? I'm afraid it's your sister. My sister? She's to be buried this evening at Whitechapel Cemetery. Your mother published the obituary this morning. I see. I'm sorry, Jonathan. I never thought I would have to attend my murdered sister's funeral. Evet, maalesef bu video bitti. Ama her gün iki yeni video gelmeye devam edecek. Eğer izlediğini beğendiysen ve kanaldaki yeni videolardan haberdar olmak istersen, ana sayfadaki abone ol butonuna basman ya da herhangi bir videonun içerisindeki Dedele Oyunlar logosuna tıklaman yeterli olacaktır. Dedele Oyunlar kanalımızda bugüne kadar yayınlanmış olan 2000'den fazla videoyu izlemek isterseniz, videolar kısmından çok kolay bir şekilde bunları görüntüleyebilir ya da oynatma listelerinden seriler halinde yine bu videoları görüntüleyebilirsiniz. İzlediğiniz bir oyunla alakalı bilgi almak isterseniz, hemen o oyunun videosunun altındaki daha fazla fazla göster butonuna tıkladığınızda o oyunun varsa oynama linki ya da satın alma linki bulunacaktır. Fakat kardeşlerim asıl önemli olan Dedele Oyunlar oyun kanalımızı gerçekten beğendiyseniz bu duyguyu arkadaşlarınızla paylaşmanız ve bunun için maalesef burada bir buton yok. Yapmanız gereken dışarı çıkmak, arkadaşlarınızı kolundan tutup yakalayıp Dedele Oyunlar diye bir oyun kanalı var. Ben izledim çok beğendim. Sen de izledin mi diye neşeyle haykırmak. Kibarca da söylemeniz yeterli olabilir.